Hello and welcome back to Rail On, where we are now looking at a roundabout station without a traffic jam. Because that is what we did last time. We fixed it. We resolved it. Like sugar into water, really. <laughs> it's gone. Well, there is this small traffic jam on, like, the center lane from this direction. And, um, well, I know why that is, really. Remember this switch that we built in here because we had a traffic jam extending all the way across this junction? Well, right now, because that traffic jam's gone, really, all that this switch is really doing is um, sending any trains that are on the outer tracks over here towards these inner ones because the way it works right now is that this track over here according to the trains and their pathfinding is faster and of course our trains are smart and they always choose the fastest route so um, that's why unless there is like a, a train on these tracks right now they will always go to this inner one and well guess what <laughs> this massive well, genetically modified Franken farm <laughs> really is also hooked up over here. So yeah, we have a few traffic issues here. You know, trains climbing slopes, joining tracks and such. Now we could do two things about it. We could remove this switch, but it also has its uses. So what I will do instead is just hook this Franken farm <laughs> <laughs> up um, through the outer track again, where it was uh, when we had the traffic jam. You know, back to its original position. So, let's do that. And uh, I think what should happen is that we sh might get like a small traffic jam over here on the outer track. Nothing big really, just a minor one really. And, um, well, we should see the inner traffic jam fixed pretty soon. So, here it goes. Um, oh crap, <laughs> maybe I should build the maglev tracks. That might help. Alright, well, I didn't even need to change any signals. <laughs> How good is that? So, yeah, see? The inner one will resolve pretty quick now. Good, so, well, those were just, uh, you know, it was just uh, one small thing, but it should completely dissolve any traffic jams at all. Now then, um, what are we going to do this time? Well, like uh, I said last time, we are not going to build any new trains. But we are going to address on this steel station over here. Because it needs addressing. <laughs> well, and uh, it needs it pretty badly actually. Because it has a massive traffic jam over here. And a massive traffic jam over here. So, um, well, this side over here will be relatively easy to fix because well I think what I'll do is I'll upgrade this stretch from this junction to uh, six lane that's a really short stretch I know that we do need to upgrade switches for that of course but that should really fix uh, the traffic issues that we have with this junction so yeah, that's easy However, more important, how are we going to fix uh, this traffic jam? <laughs> That's going to be quite a big job, but I got a plan for that. We are going to hook up a new steel mill somewhere around this area. And all the iron f uh, mines that uh, are like over here, and wait, I think it's better to show this with the map on. Um, yeah, so all the iron ore mines that are in this area between the roundabout and between this junction, I will just reroute them towards the steel station that we're going to make over here. Now, in terms of station, it's going to be the same as this one, but um, it's going to get a lot of traffic because it might not look all that impressive, but there's actually quite a few iron ore mines over here. I think we have a total of like, uh, I don't know, 8 or maybe even 10 iron ore mines in this area and they're all really really productive because well, <laughs> those are like one of the first things that we hooked up when we started this network so yeah, they've been in there for a long time and um, they're producing a crap load so it's going to mean lots and lots of traffic and um, 
Well, we need to adjust this junction accordingly, <laughs> because, well, currently, it is totally not suited to deal with massive amounts of traffic. In fact, most of the traffic will be coming from the upside, and we don't even have tracks leading from up over here towards uh, this side. So, um, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna rework this junction completely, so that it is able to handle massive amounts of traffic from all directions. And um, that's going to be quite a hell of a job, in fact. Now, that should really keep us busy actually, and um, I think it will be quite a long build, but the end results should be good, because in theory, we got all the space that we need over here. Now, it's all nice to upgrade this junction, but we need to have the steel station in there first. Now, uh, actually, alright, so these like, well, what is it, light purple or grayish? I think it's grey. These grey squares, those are like steel mills. So we've got like one over here. This one looks very promising actually. It's not too far away. In fact, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we found ourselves a winner. That was quick and easy. I didn't even need to search properly. Though, well, um, where is it? <laughs> oh no, it's here. It's a bit hidden in between all these forests. But, of course, we turn trees invisible. I don't really know why the trees are in here actually, because most of the time I have them turned on like this. <laughs> Which looks really bad, I know, but... Oh well. Regardless, um, this will be the steel mill that we're gonna use. Now last time we did a lot of track fiddling, and I just wanna take a quick look at... Ooh, look at these results, man. Two and a half billion a year now. So yeah, that, you know, that whole traffic jam solving, that actually made us more money. Can you imagine that? We haven't built any new trains or hooked up any new mines or resource nodes uh, to sound really game-like. And uh, we still are making more money, so... The things optimization can do to your tracks, right? Anyway, I say enough talking and uh, let's get into building this station and more importantly upgrading this junction to be the crown jewel piece of junctionary that we're gonna build. And um, well just to add, I think as well I'll just upgrade these tracks to four lane as well. There's no need for it really but um, well. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not do it because there's no need for it. <laughs> Alright, so I'll leave it just as that. Anyway, time for some building.
seems that we just finished this junction. At least, I'm just looking at it right now, trying to think whether or not I have forgotten something. But it seems that we pretty much finished it. The only thing that there's left to do is a little bit of track optimization, because before, this junction was really cramped. But um, right now, it is really spacious, and because it was so cramped, we had to use a lot of tunnels and you know, not long tunnels and long bridges that are kind of unnecessary at the moment. So, yeah, that's like uh, a thing. But for the rest, this is uh, pretty much it. I think that I haven't forgotten anything, you know, any exits that the trains might want to take. Or be able to make now the real key about this junction is that the inner lane doesn't really have any exits going through uh, to or from it really so the the inner lane here is really just for the trains passing through but everything else really can exit to anywhere or at least um, they should be able to do that um, now I'm just looking over here now still looking still looking yeah, it does seem that I have forgotten one connection. And that is the connection from this track to this track. Though, the real question is, do we need that? Actually, we do need that. So, yeah, alright. Um, <laughs> I'll just finish up the junction <laughs> before, you know, and afterwards claim that I finished it prematurely. So, yeah, let's finish it up proper now and then say that it is truly finished so yeah all right quick and easy fix um so yeah now the junction is truly finished um <laughs> No, <laughs> there's still some track optimization that we need to do. You know, the thing I said about removing those unnecessary long tunnels. I mean, that's, those are the only things really that we need to do at the moment. But for the rest, I think I also pretty much took out those unnecessary long tunnels uh, when I was building the tracks. So, oh, I... Oh, crap. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, I just now noticed that I also forgot, like, uh, another major track direction, really. Because I was just hovering over here, and I was like, why is it so crowded over here, and so completely not crowded over here? And now I know why. This direction over here was missing. And, um, well, it's completely missing. <laughs> oh man, I'm making such a bad figure here. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we might want to take a look at that as well, huh? Just add like these tracks here, yeah. Alright, so I'll continue on finishing the junction. <laughs> and this time, <laughs> oh man, if I claim that it is finished again and it still isn't, <laughs> oh man, <laughs> that's just calling bad luck on ourselves. Anyway, yeah, um, so junction finish time. This time for true, for real. Alright, now this time I truly think that I got all my bases covered. Because right now the junction looks a lot more appropriate, really. It's a l quite busy and crowded with tracks over here, but that's really because this has a lot more tracks. You know, this goes from 4 to 6, while over here it goes from 2 to 6. So yeah, there are a little bit less tracks over here. Well, that's right, you know, that's... Well, it's in the design, so to say. 
Now over here though, we have a small issue because as you can see right now, trains are really, we need to do some proper load balancing. And the best point to do that is actually right here, right before the junction. However, we have this issue of this station being here. And um, yeah, it's not all bad, but it's kind of like, well, this track over here is a bit in the way. So what I'll do is I'll just change this station uh, a little bit. Actually, I'll expand it and um, I'll have the tracks go to this side, hook up right to the outer lane over here. And then we'll have a switch in here. Now obviously we do not need a switch for the outer two tracks because the outer two tracks can go to anywhere. But, well, it is a massive detour. I mean, <laughs> it's a bit hard to see, but really, they have to go like this to continue on this to this direction. Which means massive more distance. Now for the outer uh, lane, uh, that's just bad luck if the train's on there. It probably needs to be there anyway to take an exit. But for the center lane really, I can imagine that they might want to be on the inner lane going straight. So what I'll do is I'll build a two lane switch right here in front of this junction. Say so like somewhere over here-ish. Actually, come to think of it. Right now, the traffic distribution to me really looks like it doesn't really need a switch on the inner lane, it needs a switch on the outer lane really. Is that because we're missing some connection? I fear that's why really. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Um, yeah, looking at it, we totally need that. However, we might actually want to consider a six lane switch. However, that's going to take up a lot more space. So, ah, well, we'll figure something out and um, yeah, we'll figure something out. <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, about this, huh? Let's upgrade the station and fix it. I just now realized that this has one very unwanted side effect and that is iron trench choosing the inner lane only to make a diagonal switch over here which is really blocking off all the other traffic so yeah I kind of didn't took that into account so yeah this was kind of a bad decision on me but hey <laughs> this uh, means you learn from it too right <laughs> Because uh, what I really need is just a switch between the outer two tracks. I really should keep this track just for passing through, so... Uh, 
Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> herp and derp. Apparently, I forgot the diagonal track piece below the bridge over here. Because I was wondering, like, why on the freaking earth do I see so much traffic all going here on the outer lane? I just didn't get it, really. But, yeah, that explains a lot. You know, all these trains all want to go to the outer track here continuously. And I was like, why? <laughs> but now I see why. So, um, yeah, a tiny minor mistake. Um, well actually, maybe that would also have solved the issue with the switch over here. But, um, well, you know, it's, I've been playing for quite a while now, so yeah, I'm gonna cut the video here. But um, let's just take a look at this junction. And, um, <laughs> well, <laughs> it seems that this steel mill has disappeared on us too. So, yeah, regardless, this is really the big thing we did today. This is a high efficient, high capacity junction. And, um, yeah, it should work uh, pretty well. Now, the only small issue that I have over here is um, trains. Yeah, they probably all do need to be on the outer lane, really, these iron trains. So, yeah, that's a bit bad. In fact,. Well, the thing is, you know, that um, we might need a couple more switches, really, like, I don't know, maybe over here, for example, you know, have just have, like, a two-lane switch over here, because there's, like, quite a few iron ore mines going over there, and um, so far, really, what's happening is that a lot of iron ore trains that are on this lane still need to go over here, because otherwise, they won't be able to get to the outer tracks anymore. Which I think... And, um, well, I'll do that next time, but... Um, we, we will put in, like, another switch over here. Just for the outer lane, really. Because um, that should solve the issue of all the trains needing to go over here on the outer lane, really. Because right now, all that is really happening is just all these trains are blocking the traffic over here, which is not good, of course. But once we got a switch in over here, that should solve all the issues. So, um, with that said, join me next time when we will... Well, we have fixed the traffic jam more or less by <laughs> replacing it to the other sides of the tracks, but that's just because of some sloppy track building. But um, for the rest, yeah, join me next time when we will address this traffic jam over here and um, well do some tweaking and tuning to this junction and load distribution and then yeah we are truly finished so uh, join me next time <laughs>